Hi, second graders and families. This is Miss Amy, and I am here to give you a review about how to solve two-digit addition problems with regrouping. We've learned a couple of different strategies in class, but I'm going to go over a strategy that you can use when you're really stuck and need to draw a picture to help you. I'm going to share my screen so that you can see my paper as I work out each problem. All right, so here is my paper, and I'm going to focus on just this first problem first. All right, so my first problem says 37 plus 25. The first thing my eyes and my brain do are focus in on this plus sign. I always look at my sign first so I know whether I'm going to add or subtract. This is a plus sign, so I know I'm going to add. Adding means I'm putting things together. So I'm going to start with the number 37 and draw three tens and seven ones. Students have already learned how to make a chart just like this one with tens on this side and ones on this side. So I'm going to start with three tens, and then seven ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now I'm going to look at 25. I see I have two tens and five ones. So I'm going to draw that. Two tens, two, three, four, five ones. I always, always, always when I'm ready to add, have to start with my ones. It's super important. So I'm going to look at my ones first and count how many ones I have all together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I'm going to write that number right here. When I look at this number, I notice something really important. There is a 10 in this number. This is the ones place though. So a 10 can't stay here. That means I have to cross out this 10 and move it over to my tens place. Just like that. So this 10 went here. I also notice that means I'm left with only two ones. So it's super important that I go over here and I put a two in my ones place. Next, I'll count my tens and I have to make sure to count this one that I just moved over. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I put my six over there in my tens place. A little blurry, sorry. There we go. All right, so that's one example, okay? I'm gonna go through another one just to make sure you really have it. All right, so now I'm gonna focus on 19 plus 48. Again, the first thing I do, look at that sign. It's a plus sign, so I know I'm adding. I'm putting things together. I'm going to draw out 19, 110, and 9 ones. So 110, 9 ones. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Now I'm going to go to 48 and draw out four tens and eight ones. One, two, three, four, and then eight ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, and again, whenever I'm ready to add, I have to start with the ones. I count my ones first. Well, I remember I have nine here, so I'm gonna start counting at nine. That'll save me a little bit of time. So nine, 
10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Okay, I'm going to write that number down here. And hmm, again, when I look at this number, I notice something about it. I notice that there is a 10 in 17, but this is the ones place. So I can't have a 10 in the ones place. So I cross that 10 out and I move it over here, okay? Then I notice I only have seven ones left. So I take my seven and I write it in my ones place. Now I'm ready to count my tens. One, two, three, four, five, six. Write that over here. So my final answer is 67. So I hope that this helped. If you get stuck on an addition problem and need to draw a picture to help you, you can always use your tens and ones to help figure out an addition problem with regrouping. All right, I'll see you guys next time for a subtraction problem with regrouping.